William Herschel was born in Hanover in 1738. Uh, and he, like most of his family, began their lives as military musicians. He first came to uh, England in that particular role, and he liked what he saw. So when he got his discharge from the army, he came here as a musician, and initially went to the north of the country, where he quickly established himself as a very successful concert organiser, music teacher. Um, and he did very well for himself. And then he saw an advertisement in, a, in 1766 to be the organist of the newly built Octagon Chapel in Bath. And he applied you know, to win that post, and he did. So he came to Bath in 1766. And he quickly established himself here as a very successful um, musician, director of music, um, and teacher. Bath, of course, was a great social hub in those days, so there's plenty of demand for entertainment, music included. And William did that very successfully. And quite quickly, he was basically the key man of music in Bath. But as time went by, he slightly got bored with just music, and he had wide interests in things scientific, and particularly astronomy. And he took to you know, see what he could do to pursue this interest. He tried to hire telescopes and to buy telescopes, but he found it very difficult to do, find one good enough. He had high standards, so he began to make his own. And increasingly, he was quite successful at realising how to make good telescopes by just studying, getting advice where he could, but experimenting. And that is how he came to make the telescope that he used to discover the planet Uranus in 1781. This is a replica of that telescope, and I'll say a bit more about that shortly.